What if you could forward your network traffic so it came from inside your target's network? We traced a call. It's coming from inside the house. On a squad car to the Maybe you've gained control of a corporate user's workstation and want to access an internet web server or further compromise internal hosts. Let's talk about how exactly to do that with the SOX protocol. SOX redirects your client traffic through a proxy server to the destination. You can also use proxies to hide your source IP address and even to bypass defenses. At the destination, the request looks to be coming from the SOX proxy, and you can bypass defenses by tricking them into thinking that the traffic is coming from your target. So how do you do it? Well, with SOX 5 support and Metasploit, it's easy. Let's see how. Start with launching MSF console and using the auxiliary server SOX 5 module. This module starts a SOX 5 server within Metasploit. Before we run the module, we can configure several options. If we want other attackers to be able to connect, we would leave the SRV host at the default, 0.0.0.0. .0. That would mean we're forwarding traffic from all interfaces, so anyone on our network could use the SOX proxy to forward their own traffic. In that scenario, we could secure the SOX server by setting username and password, but only some software supports username and password-based authentication. We would rather lock it down, so we're only forwarding traffic from our local workstation, so let's change SRV host to 127.0.0.1. Since we're listening on localhost, we won't require authentication. So let's just run the module. Notice the server is listening in the background, but we can still interact with Metasploit to launch other modules. Since we're tricking the user into opening a malicious document, we'll set up our external attack server to catch the reverse HTTPS payloads callback on port 443. So now we've got the SOX 5 server running in the background, along with a listener that will catch the callback from our malicious document. Once the target calls back, we'll use Meterpreter to look around the Windows workstation. Let's see what the workstation is connected to. It looks like Internet Explorer is connected to this internal web server, 192.168.1.100, and we like to play around with it to see what they're looking at. We'll background the interpreter session, and we'll send traffic the SOC server receives, destined to the IP address starting with 192.168.1.anything, through the interpreter payload running on session 1, our Windows target from just a moment ago. Now let's configure Firefox to use Metasploit's SOC server. I recommend Firefox because it has self-contained proxy settings, whereas other browsers like Edge, Chrome, and Safari use the operating system's proxy settings. In the Firefox network settings, we'll add the IP address and port of our Metasploit SOX 5 server. You may also configure DNS requests to be forwarded and resolved on the target. And now we can visit that internal web server and we see what the target was connecting to. While most browsers and applications support SOX, other programs can use proxies via a utility called a Proxifier. We'll include a link in the description to an exhaustive list on Wikipedia so you can find one that works for you. Hopefully that's enough to get you started. Head to Metasploit.com to download the Metasploit framework and check out our Community and Pro editions. Hit us up in the comments, via Twitter, and on our Slack channel. We'd love to hear from you. Until then, happy hacking.